All right, so look, I'm about to go through what I believe, you know, in my honest opinion, are some things that a lot of you dudes are doing right now. A lot of you think, a lot of you think that they're cool. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that you think that are attractive. Um, you know, you're wearing it or you're doing it or whatever the case may be. I'm about to just go through this real quick off the top because, hey man, it could it might apply to you. Now. I'm here to help you out. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you've been tuned in, thanks for coming back. This is High Value Help. Listen, guys, I see too many weak men out here. I'm taking a stand for masculinity. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying to you isn't meant to hurt you right now. What I'm about to tell you guys, again, it's only my opinion, so you don't even have to really take it and, and, and believe it. But generally speaking, guys, I really, really believe what I'm saying is about to be true. So, this applies to you guys who are growing up, you know, who are looking to be men, you know, to become better men, not just fuck boys, you know what I'm saying? Not just these, these half-assed men. No, you want to be a 100% man, right? A 1% man, or maybe a 3% man, or however you want to target it, right? However you want to title it. But listen, there's too much shit going on, too many things that you guys are doing right now that are making you less attractive and less manly. Bottom fucking line period. And the thing is, you think that shit is cool. You think that shit is attractive. You think that shit is a fly. You think that women like it, but they don't. They don't, bro. And the ones that do, they're they're not even the ones you want, bro. So I'm going to help you get back on track to become a better man, okay? And if what I say offends you, or if it applies to you, and you're like, yo, I don't agree with that, it is what it is. But if what I say makes sense to you, and you're like, damn, I kind of do agree with that, smash the like button, okay? I'm going to start with what I just got off the top of my head, I'm not even going to come up with a whole list, you know, um, preliminary. This is something I'm going to go through right now. I'm going to go raw through this whole fucking video. Like, right off the bat, you guys, you guys got, you got to have, you got to have groomed faces, groomed hair, groomed look, bro. Like, you got to have your shit groomed. You got to look good. You got to have your vibe right. A lot of you dudes are wearing, like, long untamed beards looking crazy your hair is looking kind of crazy i mean you know but it's like this overly long hair and untamed and ungroomed hair you guys have no not getting edge ups you know not having a line hair all over the back of your neck like that shit is not fly bro and if you think that is fly that's not attractive but it's making you less attractive and less of a man because real high value men take care of themselves they pride themselves in their appearance bro period now listen my hair is, you know, kind of long, kind of frizzy at the moment, but it's manageable and it's, it's good hair. It's healthy hair. You know, I take care of my hair. You can tell. So, you know, no, no problem there. Beard is looking good. You guys, I already taught you how to shave your beard in my other videos. Okay, so get your grooming together. You guys got to be groomed. You got to have a groomed face. You got to have a groomed style about you, okay? If you're hairy all over your chest and, like, take care of the extra hair sticking out and shit, bro. Like, a lot of you guys, like, just walking around looking like fucking animals, bro. All right, hairs off in your nose, hairs coming out your fucking ears and shit, bro. Mustaches all over your fucking nose and like, come on, bro. Like, get your shit together, right? So that's what's right off the bat, man. You guys gotta make sure you're groomed, okay? That shit is making you less attractive, I promise. You. All right, guys. Another thing. A lot of you dudes aren't wearing the proper size clothes. Like, wear clothes that fit you. Wear clothes that fit you, guys. If you're an athletic type of person, wear, you know, muscle shirts. Uh, that they're not muscle shirts, but shirts that highlight your muscle, right? Now, don't be wearing shit that covers your muscles, you know, and all this oversized baggage shit. You know what I'm saying? And then and, and I understand there's like these trends and these fashion statements and you see people doing it and you can wear what you want, but I'm telling you right now, it makes you look less manly. It does. It makes you look childish. Okay, so if you don't want to look like a child, if you want to be taken serious as a man, you wear clothes that fit you. And speaking of clothes, guys, stop wearing graphic t-shirts. T-shirts with fucking big ass logos and all these trendy fucking names and pictures and shit like, bro, that shit is not attractive. It's childish. It's elementary. It's immature. Right? I'm telling you, you guys, the, the simpler the better. I mean, you don't even have to be spending all this extra money on fucking designer names. You really don't. Just get clothes that fit you, that work with your physique. You know, and keep it simple, man. 
why are these dudes are doing too much with the style? Feeling like you got to wear all this extra shit, all these trendy ass objects and shit. You look crazy with the little man bags and hat, like fucking fanny packs and shit, bro. That shit is unattractive, not manly. Another thing, earrings, bro. I'm telling you right now, I got my ears pierced, but listen, it's controversial, bro. Them shit, they don't make you look men. They really don't. They make you look like a pretty boy. Like a, you know? Not get it. You guys want to flex your little diamonds and shit. Cool, cool, okay. Oh, I got carrots in my ear. Cool, cool, cool. But dude, I'm telling you right now, it's not perceived manly, okay? It's not perceived more manly. Okay, I'm just telling you how it is, bro. I understand you think you got the swag, you got the sauce, you got the drip, all of that. Okay, cool. That, that's valid. Some women are attracted to it. But I'm just telling you off the rip, off the bat. And listen, man, I understand it's all based off of cultural, different, different, I, you know, tribes and, and, and visions and perspectives. But I'm telling you bro, right now, like, you don't need to be wearing earrings. You don't have to, bro. You don't have to be, like, blinging and shit. Okay, because it's not about that shit, bro. And it doesn't really make you look that manly at all. It, it kind of de-fucking-masculate. What's the word? Demasculate. I don't even know the word. Demasculate. What's the fucking word? Demasculate, right? It, it, it's, it's some feminine shit. Bottom line, dude. So, uh, God bless people. I'm, it doesn't, I'm not, not to say I'm not going to go wear some earrings. Now, you can be confident and go wear some earrings. But, like, we're just talking straight, like, okay, they make you look less manly, right? Less manly. You can still be a man, but it's just not as manly. It doesn't increase the amount of fucking masculinity you got. You feel what I'm saying? All right, so next thing I want to say would be, like, talking too fucking much. Just talking, 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 bragging all the time, flexing your fucking money and your watches and your car keys and all of that extra bullshit. Just doing the most, trying to impress women unattractive, less manly. It makes you look weak, bro. It makes you look insecure. And some women are attracted to it, but it's all superficial. Nah, women do care what you have. Women do. I mean, there is, you know, we know about this. We know the hypergamy. We know status matters. We know things like this matter. But a lot of you dudes are doing it just in a way that it's not attractive, right? A lot of you dudes are flaunting and fucking just being super extravagant, doing all this dumb shit. Right, and then it just doesn't make you look more manly. It makes you kind of look weak, actually. It kind of makes you look insecure, like you know, like you're trying to make up for like confidence, right? The natural confidence is really like that's the key to anything. If you're confident, you come across manly. Bottom fucking line. So, <clears throat> that being said, that kind of ties into all this extra jewelry you guys have on your fucking necks, like all of these excessive chains and shit, bro. Like, okay, are you, are you a fucking famous rapper, bro? You know what I'm saying like all this ice on your neck, bro. It's not like necessary. It doesn't make you look manly, bro. It just doesn't. It just means you look like you want attention, like you're trying to like, shine and shit. And I get it. I'm not hating at all. I promise I'm not hating at all. But I'm just telling you, like you don't need to be wearing five, seven, twelve chains on your fucking neck, twelve medallions and shit, bro. You don't need to do all that. You could have maybe one chain, maybe two, maybe three chains at the most, different lengths and shit. But like you don't need to be doing all this excessive shit, bro. Looking crazy crazy jewelry all up on your fucking wrist, multiple watches and shit, not hating, once again, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, but, just saying it, it doesn't make you look more manly, okay, some of you think that makes you look more wealthy, more successful, more attractive, but it really doesn't, it really doesn't make you look more attractive, again, simplicity, bro, simplicity, too many rings in your fucking head, not manly, bro, straight up, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, a lot of you guys wearing too many fucking rings, I'm not hating, but it is what it is. Why don't you just wear like a one or two, you know, on, on but like the whole, every fucking finger? Kind of feminine, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, right? Not, not perceivably, historically, culturally, you know, naturally masculine. It's kind of just like uh, you, you're overcompensating with all this extra bullshit, right? <clears throat> so, man, I want to go in. I want to really go in on this list. Let me think about some other shit. I'm, I just went straight into this video without even having like a list, right? So, some other things you guys are doing that are unattractive make me look less attractive, less manly, man. Mm. We've already been through this, asking her, you know, to kind of take the lead, like giving her the power all the time. Like just submitting to her and shit, like making the woman the priority and the fucking decision maker when that's your job, bro. Makes you look weak, makes you look less attractive, man. Make, makes you look less of a man, bottom fucking line. Uh, what else, man? Just, just the, the, your high voices, man. Yo, yo, like, please practice putting some fucking bass in your voice, bro. 
I can't tell you how many dudes out here I hear with these little high ass voices, bro. It's high, like it's they like I don't even know, like I, bro. At the end of the day, I got deep ass voice. Bottom line, I don't get up on here and talk to you guys like seductively like that, cause that would be weird. But like with these women, bro, I know how to talk deep, bro. Cause that's just that's that's my voice. You feel me? But like all the time, bro. I be mean, you hear all these dudes just high pitched and shit, talking crazy, like bro. Like, well, is that really how you sound, bro? Like I'm just being honest, bro. Women like a man who has a deep voice. You know, just certain, like, just, just, just that, mm, you know what I mean? Just, just that, mm, that, you know? That's what it is. It's, it's, it's having, you gotta have that in you, bro. And too many of you dudes, it's just, I don't, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I don't get it. But it is what it is, man. Work on, work on your fucking tonality, bro. Work on your bass. Work on your voice. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's it, man. Like, you, I just had to put it like that. Like, a lot of you dudes, you say things, and it, you think it sounds powerful because you use some good words, but the way that you said it was just so weak. You feel what I'm saying? Like the words came across all like, did, 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 did. like and that's it. Mm -mm. It doesn't it doesn't resonate at the right frequency. So keep that in mind too, bro. It makes you look less of a man, it makes you look less attractive. If you got this high pitched fucking voice, so you can't speak deeply, you know, slowly, composed. You know, so let me continue on with this, man. What else? Wow, there's a list I got in my mind, right? I'm I'm cause I, the, the inspiration of this video was just like, I see it all the time. Like, what else, man? Oh my god. So a lot of you wearing all like these fucking like wearing sneakers all the fucking time, bro. Like wear some fucking dress shoes, bro. Wear some boots. You wearing all these fucking sh sneakers and shit, like you playing basketball all over the court and shit. Like you not, bro. Just like go out and dress like a fucking man, bro. You know what I'm saying? All you, all you, draw, I, and, and listen, I love Jordans. I love Nike. It's cool. Adidas, Yeezy, cool. Balenciaga, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you fly. You, but, but like, learn, bro. Time and place. Not all the time, bro. Okay? Learn how to actually dress like a fucking man. Okay? Wear some fucking nice dress shoes. Get some nice Chelsea boots. Or some, just something, something of, of, of class, bro. A lot of you dudes are still dressing like you did, like, when you were in high school and college. Okay? And that reminds me of another one. Baseball caps. Bro, you not playing baseball. <laughs> bro, bro, hold on, hold on. Hey, bro, you, you are not Derek Jeter, my nigga. You are not Sammy Sosa, bro. Okay, bro, why the fuck are you wearing a baseball hat, my nigga? Are you are you golfing, bro? You got a golfing hat on, my nigga, but we out. We just we, have, we just out. Are oh, you trying to hide the sun? Or you think it's fly? You got it on backwards, too, now. What the fuck? You got your shit on backwards. You wearing your hat backwards, my nigga. Like, that shit is not masculine, bro. It's not attractive, I'm telling you right now, bro. And listen, man, I'm not hating. Again, I'm not hating. Some of y'all look, you know, y'all look cool. You know what I'm saying? You look cool, but you don't look masculine, bro. You get what I'm saying? You look cool, maybe, but you kind of look like a douche at the same time. I'm going to be the one to fucking, I'm going to be the one to tell you that. You kind of look like a douche. You kind of look like, uh, I don't really take myself serious. That's kind of what it looks like most of the time. Most of the fucking time, bro. And I'm, listen, I'm not hating. But take the fucking hat off, bro. Like, I get it. Once in a while, you know, every certain occasion. I get it. Maybe you, maybe you do want to hide the sun. Maybe you want to swag. Maybe you got the new fade and you want to wear the hat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But uh, you got to take that shit off. Bro. You got to have the confidence to just go like this. My nigga. You can't, like, see, that's the thing. A lot of you dudes are wearing the hat just, like, by default all the time. Like, hiding your fucking, like, hiding, my Because, like, what do you, why are you always wearing a hat, bro? You get what I'm saying? So. Take that shit off. It looks childish. It looks fucking like you're some little, little youthful boy. Get your little fucking hat on and shit, bro. I'm just, I'm not even hating, bro. But I'm just telling you, bro. Like, it, it makes y'all look less masculine. And a lot of you guys probably gonna be hating on this video, but it's not even, like, a lot of you gonna understand what I'm, a lot of you gonna believe me, too. And you're gonna notice it, too. Maybe you, maybe you didn't even know, but now it's gonna, now it's gonna make sense for you, bro. It's gonna make sense for you. Like, People wear hats all the time, dude. I, okay, I get it, but we're really just talking on a motherfucking. Why you think you can't wear a baseball hat when you go to a fine dining restaurant, bro? Because what the fuck you wearing a hat for, bro? Take your fucking hat off, bro. That's all I'm saying. So, you guys gotta really look into what I'm saying. Like, it, I get it. I get it. it. It's fashion, right? It's fashion, but but you don't need to do all that, bro. You don't even need to. Okay. Let me continue on now. Listen, a lot of you guys. Man, what else? What else makes you do look less attractive right now and, 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 and less manly, man? Because, listen, I talked to women. My, like, I talked to Shorty and they confirmed these shits with me. You know what I'm saying? She's like, 
Because I'm like, that shit is not fly. Like, to, my mom, to me, as a man, you know, and I don't judge dudes. Like, that's not my, what I'm doing here. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck, bro. Do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear. But I'm trying to help you out, bro. Because a lot of you are just confused with your fucking self, with who you trying to be and what you want to look like, following trends and shit, just, see, just, just dressing off of the TV screens and the fucking apps and shit, bro. Like, you gotta have, you guys gotta have some type of direction. I'm your boy. I'm here to help you. I'm really here to help guide you to become a better man, the best man you can become, the motherfucking best version of yourself, bro. Okay, and that means you're the fucking man. That means you're the truth. That means you are whole. You're not, you're not a boy. So we have to eliminate all this childish, youthful shit that you are used to, and and you're trying to get away with. Like if you're growing up, and I know my viewers, a lot of you guys are in the mom. Most of you guys, 18 through 30. Like that's the age range so like that's a very formative time for us get it right okay get this time right so that you're not fucking looking crazy okay i look back at some of my videos from just like you know a year ago and i'm like damn i did not have my shit together like the way i thought i did like i don't look like a man like i thought i did i don't sound like a man like i thought i did i haven't moved like a man like i thought i did right just the amount of things you can learn and implement will help you out so that's what i'm trying to help you guys do just become a better man and, and if you're watching this video and any of this shit's hitting and you're like, damn, bro, why you, why you at me like that, bro? Well, listen, man, I'm your boy, man. I, I, I want to help you out by the fucking line. So I'm not telling you to stop doing any of these things, but just take it into consideration, right? So continuing on, man. Um, yeah, a lot of you dudes are letting your girls drive. Like, why are you letting her, why are you wanting, bro, you should be driving. Right? Like, I see, I'll come out the grocery store or some shit, and it's like, she hops in the driver's seat, and he hops in the passenger seat. Less manly. Less attractive. Making her open the door. Letting her walk in front of you. What the fuck? You know? Never dominating her, you know, and always submitting to her, like, in the bedroom. Like, just never taking control, right? Not being able to hold eye contact. Smiling all the fucking time. It's like everything's all fucking sweet and dandy. My girl said dandy the other day. I looked at her like, the fuck, dandy? You know what I'm saying? Like, and she thought that was funny, but like, dude, like, you guys are just, you guys crack up at every fucking moment you can crack up at. And I get it. You gotta have a sense of humor. You gotta be funny. But a lot of you motherfuckers look cheesy as fuck. Y'all corny. Just straight corn balls out here. I'm just being honest, man. Less manly, less attractive. When you're out here just goofy as hell, looking goofy, straight clowning and shit. Just clowning all the fucking time, bro. Can never be serious. A lot of dudes can never be serious. You can't even take yourself serious. So why the fuck would she take you serious, bro? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm just telling you guys, that's what it is. <sighs> Cuddling up on her like a little, like a little baby. Like, bro, when she wants you, like, you know, when she, when she's in her feminine and she wants, you know, big daddy to lay on, you know, she's looking for her rock, bro. She's looking for her support. She's looking for her... You know, just that, all right, baby, come here, her wing. She can just, you know, be her, and then you just, you just tough with it, right? A lot of you dudes start melting and shit, like, and get all, like, now it's, now you, now it's just, it's just too soft, little moldy Play-Doh shit, like, just, just this conglomerate of just, just super softness, right? So soft. A lot of you dudes getting too fucking soft when it comes to that motherfucking that that dynamic bro maintain your masculine frame bro sit back relax let her let her do all the softening into you but don't don't fucking you know what i'm saying man come on bro that's what i'm trying to tell y'all man what up man i'm telling i'm telling you bro i'm telling you man all right bro I, i'm just trying to help i'm just trying to help Another thing. 
asking her too many fucking questions that have nothing to do with shit. Just asking questions like a little bitch, like asking questions in the full in a way that's like, like she's gonna be like, I don't fucking know, like why are you right, like just asking all these little weak ass questions. Stop doing that, bro. Just make make fucking statements, bro, and then let her say some shit. Let her react, bro. And if you do ask her a question, make it be a just a good question, bro. Ask if you're gonna ask questions, ask good questions. Not these little weak ass yes and no fucking beta ass questions, bro. Ask deep questions. Fucking thought provoking questions. Just super engaging questions, right? To get her just feeling like, oh, fuck. Like, that's a good question. Like, and she starts good, like, you know what I mean? Why are you motherfuckers asking all these just useless fucking questions and she's looking at you like bro why are you asking me all this stupid shit that's what i promise you bro so stop doing that shit stop doing that shit bro all right like i said bro make statements state facts the fuck are you asking all these questions for you know what i'm saying another one man validating her too damn much just like just kissing her ass all the time bro just like just praising her all fucking day all day just praising her bro why are you praising her, bro? So damn much. Like, what does she, what, what? And I get it, you wanna treat your woman right, I get it, but like, I'm telling you, bro, a lot of you are doing this shit too much, and you're just coming across like, just, that's how she's looking at you, bro. Because you, you like, you're just doing it now, you just, you just, it's, it doesn't even mean shit, you just, all you're doing is just trying to flatter her, like, all the day, like, and she's not, she's like, don't you have anything, like, different to say, right? So, cut that shit out, all right? That's not attractive, it's less masculine, bro. You know, keep her kind of wondering a little bit, you know? And, and this doesn't mean, you know, don't, again, we're not talking about manipulation, but it just means, like, you know, have a little level of mystery, you man. Have a little bit of conservation, have some reservation, be controlled, be, you know, have patience, have poise, have posture, you know? Have integrity, bro. Don't just be this fucking pleaser, this fucking nice guy, this little sweetheart, right? All the time. You know, all the time. That's her job, bro. She's the one who's supposed to be all emotional and lovey-dovey and shit, right? So don't do all that shit. Making you look less manly, less attractive. See, I want to make this video, like, once and for all, so that's why we're going straight into this, like, because I know by the time I fucking end this video, I'm going to think, I'm going to realize some other shit I should have said, and I'm probably going to have to do a part two, and that's what it is. And the more fucking time that we go through these, every so every day some new shit going on. I, I see some other shit I'm like this. Are you, this now? Like this is now this? I added to the, I added to my fucking list. And I'm here to take a stand for masculinity, bro. Like why are y'all doing all this shit? Why are you wearing all these things? Get me? So going back to the point, man. Um, so yeah, I touched on a few subjects today, man. We straight fire right here. So, uh, yeah, another thing, too. I'm going to tell you right now. Another thing that makes you look less attractive, less manly, bro, is being fucking super skinny, bro. Like, get some get, get some muscle to you, bro. Oh, and then contrary to that, being out of shape. Being, like, super fat. And having no, like, clearly you don't work out type shit. Like, almost unhealthy type shit. Not attractive, less masculine. Dude doesn't take care of himself. He's not high value. He doesn't prioritize himself, his health. Like, that's not what we do, bro. We take care of ourselves, our mindset, our fucking physical state, you know? We're making sure we're always checking ourselves, bro. You know, eating right, you know? And that's what I'm talking about. A lot of these dudes don't eat like grown men. You go out to little fucking fast food restaurants and shit. Bro, go out to a nice restaurant. I'm like, go to a fucking restaurant and sit your ass down. And, and select off of a menu, bro. And and guide your, guide your girl through the menu and make the decision for her on what she's gonna get. Say, you know what, I've heard this is good, or I know this is good, or I know you like this, you would like this, you're gonna get that, and it, fucking get that shit for her, bro. Take Just take control over all of that shit. Like, that's all she wants, bro. She wants a man who's gonna be able to do that, who knows her, or knows her taste, knows her preferences, knows what she wants. And all she is doing is just on down for the ride. I'm not saying don't give don't give her fucking like any type of choice in, in, in life, you know, or or, or or voice, but like bro, you should really just be the guy who is 
in the driver's seat. Literally, we talked about that earlier, right? You're the captain, bro. She's your co-captain, bro. You, for the most part, that she could sleep and you're good. You get what I'm trying to say? You, you, you asking her questions, bro. Like, 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 cause you don't, cause you don't know what to do. You better fucking figure out what to do, bro. She's not here to be your fucking tutor, bro. She's not there to be your fucking professor, bro. She's not your teacher. She's your, she's your girlfriend or your, or your, your, your fiance or your wife or a girl that you're dating, you know, or whatever, right? Like, that's what she is, bro. That's what she is. She's not your fucking mentor, bro. What the fuck? You guys are getting too buddy-buddy with her. See, that's another thing. Just, just stepping out of masculine frame all the time. Just really, you don't recognize that you've crossed this point where now you're just super buddy-buddy with her. You're, you're acting like she's your friend and shit. Grown men acting super childish. Oh, boom, that reminds me. These fucking super fucking, what are they called? Like those digital watches, like these, like rubber bands and, and the silicone with the smart watch, like, like an Apple watch, for example, bro. Honestly, Apple watches and all these smart watches, childish. It's like a little piece of, a little toy on your wrist. Some electronic shit. Now, I'm not hating. I get it. You got your iPhone, your notifications, and your da 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 You think it's cool and shit. But nah, but you want to wear a nice, classy, masculine watch. You get what I'm trying to say? It's just differences, bro. Y'all motherfuckers think that shit is slick. Unless you're out there running track. Unless you're out in the fucking field right now. Like, why are you wearing this sport watch? This digital fucking watch. This, this smart watch. I'm not saying it's not cool. Again, I'm not saying that it's not. Like, oh, that's, that's, that's u- unique and that's, that's useful. You know, it's, it's technology. It's a tool. I get it. But get, make sure you do have some nice watches, man. Some good quality watches that aren't just fucking these pieces of, you know, electronic merchandise. Get a, get a watch with again, some, some maturity to it, bro. That's all I'm telling you. All right? What else, man? Things you do with your goal. Man, what else, man? I know there's some other shit out of my mind, too. I might as well just keep this video going. Liking all her pictures and shit. Sending her all these weak ass emojis all the time. Just constantly validating her on social media. Replying to all her stories. Sending all these long ass fucking threads. Like what? Bro, remember that you all that non-sexual attention that you give her, she she she's gonna get that shit from somebody else. Right? Like these orbiters. Her girlfriends even, bro. Like dudes who try to hit on her, bro. So Yes, you want to you want to give your girl love and then show her that you care to a degree, but don't get obsessive and just over the top with that shit, bro. Just doing too much, man. Looking a little looking a little soft. You know what I'm, I'm not and I'm not saying your woman doesn't appreciate it, but if you do it too much, she won't, bro. If you do all this shit too much, it's gonna you're gonna come across just. Less masculine, period, man. That's all it is, man. Less masculine, that's all it is. So, yeah, what else? Having no purpose. You know what I'm saying? Not having a job, not having a direction, not knowing what you want out of life. You look less attractive. You look less masculine. You should know what you want to do. You should know what you want out of life. You should have standards for yourself. You should have an opinion about everything. Being all apathetic and shit, saying, I don't care. You just look weak. You don't look like a man who knows what he wants or what he thinks or what he believes in. So stand for something, bro. Have a strong purpose. Have the desire and the ambition to get better and improve. A lot of you do is just tap yourself out. And then she sees that shit. She's like, what the fuck? You know, and that's another thing, too. A lot of you do stop doing what you do or what you did in the beginning to get her, right? What you did to attract her. Whether what you did worked on uh, accident or purposely, she fell for it. But now here you are, and you're not coming with that same energy. You're getting too comfortable. You're getting too laid back, too nonchalant, too open. And now she's looking at you like, that's not who I would remember or wanted from the start. She's like, damn, where's that? That exciting, or that factor, whatever it fucking was that you had in the beginning to get her right. If you lose that shit, it's gonna fucking fade, bro. That spark will fade, bro. All right. So, fuck it. I'm gonna let this go and slide, bro. I've been talking for about 30 minutes. Yeah. Comment, like, subscribe.
I love y'all. Take care.